one thing that you need to do as a leader of a school is really lay down your vision and make sure that the staff understands, you know, this is what we want to do. This is why we, this is where we want to go. This is why we need to go there. And this is what we're going to do to get there. Everybody's on the same page. We have a common language throughout the building, a common core of um, behaviors and consequences and rewards. That is one aspect that has led to such success with the staff over the years, is the cohesiveness and the kind of bond that they've, they've had. And I've seen that ever since I've been here. The entire staff came together as a group to collaborate and develop our own personalized positive behavior support system, which we call Super Kids. And as a result, the entire school climate has changed. Positive behaviors are being rewarded, recognized on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly basis. And disruptive behavior is down, nonproductive behavior is down. So there are more opportunities for on-task learning behaviors. After um, many, many hours of analyzing data, we decided that um, there were two initiatives that we really wanted to concentrate on. One was in reading and one was in math. This was long-term planning. This was unit planning. This was um, math strand planning. This was developing their own assessments that they could use as a pre- and post-test to see how kids were doing and to tailor their curriculum that way. We all put together a binder for editing and revising and stuff like that. And what it is, it's set up to address each of the strands. So if the kids are having trouble with run-on sentences, then we have a spot in the binder that addresses run-ons. If it's, you know, we can pinpoint it and then we have extra practice ready for them. We have a summer school program, which is a summer enrichment program. And we do our own pre and post test based on our focus, which is vocabulary development. If we don't see any improvement with a program, we don't do it. We track the data for every program we do. And that's what's changed. And how many professional developments do you go to and you're presented with two hours of material and then the person walks away and you go your own way and, you know, only God knows who's doing that. You know, so one thing is the, you know, constantly revisiting and, and constantly you know communicating the vision and the goal and, and, and what we want to do as a school with the staff. A lot of time last year was spent on taking things off the shelf, bringing them together and everybody pooling their resources so that everybody wasn't reinventing the wheel. We would have a um, mentor from Haskins come every single week, would model lessons, would sit in the classroom for an entire day, work with the teachers, watch the teachers do those lessons um, and they would go back and forth it wasn't it was never at all intimidating and um, it was probably one of the best uses of professional development that I've ever seen since I've been in teaching we spend time on practical outcomes what is the problem what can we do what do we need to do let's try something let's see how that works and let's try something else and we keep going back to the same topic what can we do to help our kids achieve?